once again to another exciting edition of art and culture in Nigeria. I'm Faith Obo. On today's episode, we'll be taking you on a very, very beautiful, smooth ride through the Edo culture. We'll be going from their dress sense, their festival, their food. I know you like the sound of food. Sit back, relax, don't go anywhere. Stay with us. Enjoy the ride. My people, Unado, ABN at the family station. It's on to ABN Kuro Station, ABN AB Station. It's dominant, but it's ABN Kiperamini. It's on to Adoe. Hi, I'm Dr. Ebenezer Ogun. I'm Dr. Ebenezer Ogun. I'm Dr. Ebenezer Ogun. I'm Dr. Ebenezer Ogun. Sunrise Eagles Devotional. Velvet Wool. Now, you can hear from the mouth of the icons themselves. Are you a kid or a teenager? If yes, looking for something captivating? Hello there. You're welcome once again to another episode of Health and Fitness. You sit down with entrepreneurs and they encourage you on how to develop your own entrepreneurship business. Keep watching. Let's talk. <laughs> Edo people are the ancient Kwa language Benin speaking group who occupy the south midwestern Nigeria, now called Edo states. The Edo speaking ethnic group include Esan, the Afemai, amongst others. They are descendants of the people who founded the ancient and mighty Benin Empire. Therefore, the term Edo refers to these people who have shared historical origin as well as political and cultural similarities. These people are called the Edoid people. However, these days the Asan and the Afemai see themselves as distinct ethnic group, though they are all Edoid origin. As a result, the Edo proper now occupies seven out of the 18 local government areas of Edo state, which constitute of 57.54%, while others the ESA 17.14%, AFMI comprising of ESACO 12.19%, OWA 7.43%, and Akoko Edo 5.73%. The traditional ruler of the Edo people and head of the historic dynasty of the Benin Kingdom is called the Oba of Benin or Omonoba. The title Oba was created by the Oba Eweka one who is the first Oba of the Benin Kingdom. The Benin homeland has been and continues to be mostly populated by the Edos, also known as Benin or Benin ethnic group. The Benin Kingdom has been known to have very significant traditional roles for the coral beads. They have mainly two kinds of coral beads. They are the Ivie and the Ekan. They are both members of the coral bead family. Corals are mined from coral stones in oceans and polished to jewels. 
Evier is a species of coral bead, an important type of jewelry worn by the Edo chiefs, queens, and brides. Ekan looks like stone and is grayish in color. Renowned for its brass casting, Benin Kingdom is the home of art and craft in Nigeria. Benin art cut across different media such as bronze, brass, terracotta, ebony wood, and ivory. The Benin bronze mainly depicts a variety of scenes including animals, fish, humans, and scene of court life. They are usually cast in matching pairs. It is thought that they are originally nailed to the walls and pillars in the palace as decoration, some possibly offering instinctive sense of protocols. The people of the Edo are known for their rich cultural heritage, which displays itself from their well-known traditional attires, epitomized in the traditional mode of dressing. For the Benins, a flowing wrapper made with Ankara, voile, lace, jacquard or guinea clotted materials worn over a trouser and topped with either a long or short sleeved loose shirt of the same material, usually white in color, with an ash color ebon sewn on it, and an embroidered cap and carved walking stick complement this dressing, while for the Asian men, a flowing kente looking wrapper wrapped on the shoulder over a white t-shirt on trouser with a walking stick and embroidered cap to match. For some traditional rites, the white wrapper is usually tied around the waist and coral beads are popular among the men and women folks. Many festivals exist in the Edo Kingdom, but the most prominent one is the Igwe Festival. Igwe Festival is a festival that is popular in the Bini Kingdom in the Edo State, Nigeria. It is known for bringing good luck to the people of the kingdom. The festival started in Benin in the 15th century, 1440 AD. The Igwe festival is celebrated in December by the Oba to, us to usher into the new year as a thanksgiving for the outgoing one. It even attracts tourists from Nigeria and abroad due to its flamboyant and lively nature. During this period, Chief Tensi title holders display their Eben emblem as they are seen in their traditional attire according to the type of dress the Oba bestowed on each chief during the award of titles, including the Iloi, that is, the queen in their Okuku. The Okuku is the traditional Edu, that is, the Esak Baide. Ohogo dances and above all, the display of Eben by the chiefs while dancing and paying homage to the Oba in his chamber, while the Oba sits majestically in the royal, in the royal chamber. In the time of the celebration of the Igwe festival, it is forbidden to hold any burial or funeral ceremony in Benin Kingdom. This is because the Igwe festival is seen as a period of joy not to be interrupted with any form of public mourning. It is a rare occasion of their public appearance. The Edo food. Edo has a variety of delicious delicacies, but the major one is the black soup. The black soup is also known as Omo Ebe. It is popular and tasteful Edo soup. It is quite delicious and easy to prepare. However, most people get turned off by the dark color 
but it gets the color from the ground leaves. There are two basic leaves for making this delicious soup. They are the bitter leaf and the scent leaves. These leaves are actually grounded together with the native Edo grinding stone or the electric blender. The Edo native grinding stone preferably to give it that native feel. The Omoebe from Edo Kingdom is super tasty and very nutritious. Here is also a quick rundown for the requirements for a typical Edo wedding after all protocols have been duly observed. Number one, you have the Holy Bible. Two, you have one umbrella. Three, you have one box of wrapper. The dowry of 1,500 naira. 5,000 naira for bride's mother. 9,000 naira for bride's lineage. 3,000 naira for bride's father. 6,000 naira for women in bride's lineage. 28 tubas of yam. 14 tubas of yam for elders in bride's lineage. 6 cartons of beer for men. 3 crates of malt for women. 25 liters of palm oil. 1 jar of palm wine, locally measured. 2 bottles of schnapps. 1 plate of cola nuts and a carton of wine. My people, Unado, ABN at the family station. It's on to hey, ABN Kuro station here. ABN AB station here. It dominates what's ABN keep a remedy. Come say ABN D. It's on to Ado. Every home is having fun. Eagles devotional. Silver Wool. Now, you can hear from the mouth of the icons themselves. Are you a kid or a teenager? If yes, looking for something captivating? Hello there. You're welcome once again to another episode of Health and Fitness. You sit down with entrepreneurs and they encourage you on how to develop your own entrepreneurship business. Keep watching. Let's talk. <laughs>
Giriato, eh, oh, Giriato, eh, Giato, ma Giriato, Nilo, Giriato. beautiful beautiful Edo culture. Edo culture is very rich as you can see from the clips from the dance in fact I also thrilled by the dance I'm so so proud to be an Edo girl you know if you are jealous you can come over <laughs> thanks for staying with us on art and culture in Nigeria it's still your presenter Faith Obo do stay with us on African Broadcasting Network next time your family station bye